This is gonna be awesome. Yes. I got my Sega Genesis. I got my PlayStation 2. I got Nintendo 64. A GameCube black in the blue. Yeah, it's time to hang out with my game. It's time to empty that beer. It's time to hang out with my game. I'm my Final Fantasy. Yeah, I got a Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast. Cast, cast. What is good, guys? Random7 here, back with another episode of Friday Night Pickups. I'm sitting down for this one, guys, because we're on episode 47, and we're going to start off Friday Night Pickups, guys, with a package. So this package is really cool because it's coming from Japan, and I bought one of two packages, guys. You'll see the second package at the end of the video. But anyways, we're going to open up this one first. It's a two-game um, PlayStation 3 special it's got two games guys two really great games and one of the games they did not make an hd version here in north america so that is why i bought this game anyways enough jabbering guys hit those likes subscribe if you haven't and let's dive in this package enjoy the video let's go all righty guys we got the scissors we got the package and if i can pronounce it it's coming from kachai doki chao ku tokyo so Hell yeah, well, whatever guys, thank you for getting it here, and it was a little bit after my birthday, but that is alright. I'm very excited to play this game, guys, and I hope you're excited to see what I got, so let's do it. There it is. So it's a Biohazard Revival Selection. So it has Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil Code Veronica. And Resident Evil Code Veronica is the one that they did not release in North America in HD. So this is the reason why I got this game, guys. And yeah, another console I have Resident Evil 4 on, the PlayStation 3. So, oh yeah, it comes with the manual. Japanese, we're definitely going to uh, try some video of this, guys. And yeah, just see the difference. And I hope... There's achievements on Code Veronica because that would be just awesome. <laughs> so, very excited to play this game, guys. And Code Veronica HD, hell yeah. But anyways, guys, we still have Friday Night Pickups to get to, so hit those likes, subscribe if you haven't, and enjoy today's video. What do you think, Biohazard Revival Selection PS3? Resident Evil 4, Code Veronica. Let's go. First National Pawn. Alrighty, guys, let's go find some games. Anything good? Let's go. Do -do 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 -do. I'm really surprised they still have games here, guys. I'm gonna just pick up I don't know, a couple of them. Complete PS2 games for a dollar. Let's go. X Men, the official game. I didn't see this one last time. That's cool though. And the getaway. Four of them. Let's find one more. Wolverine's Revenge. There we go. That works. Five games. Let's go look around and see what else they got. PS3 still. Alright, trademark video games. Let's go trade in that Resident Evil 2, my extra copy. Go get a game we don't have. Say hi to Justin. All of the above. Let's go. What do you think, Justin? 30 store credit? Yeah. Is that cool? Like I said, I'm going to look around and see if I want something good for the collection. We don't need this game. I just bought the DualShock version. And we have this one also. This is my crappy one. As you can see, there's some scuffing and some other good stuff but we're gonna go look around find a game and we'll go from there right justin yeah what do you got on uh blade warriors is it 40 
Oh yeah, it says it right there. Uh, duh. That might be on my maybe. Yeah. Hey, random. Is that what I think it is? Silent Hill. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Now, is this the greatest hits one, or is that the legit one? That's, legit. That's how it looks. Because I know Castlevania, that is greatest hits. Because the regular one's black with red outlining. And if it was greatest hits, it'd have the same exact thing as Cynthia Knight. Oh, really? Yes. Huh. Shiny. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Well, there you go, guys. Now you know. It was a horrible outro. Alrighty, guys. We're getting rid of Resident Evil 2 for the PlayStation 1, and we are picking up Onimusha Blade Warriors, Capcom for Capcom, and uh, Justin's pretty cool, I only owed him $5 cash, so thank you again Justin, let's see his head right there, I might have to block it out with the rock, no, <laughs> anyways, hell yeah guys, Capcom for Capcom, um, yeah, thanks Justin again, I'll see you guys on the next one, let's go. Hey, look over that van backing out. Finally, guys, I found it. It's called Keep It Alive Antiques and Collectibles. They sell video games and other antiques and stuff, guys. I just heard about this place opening up. So let's go check it out and see what they have. I'm excited. Dracula's this curse. Back to the future. I think that's sealed. Yeah, and anything like that. Mega Man 6. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Ducktails. Oh yeah, definitely interested in the Sonic the Hedgehog because I just got the the loose. Never in Snippy Show. That's cool. Look at that. John Madden 93. 25 bucks. Yeah, they definitely got a lot of good stuff here. It's pretty cool. Quick shot. Quack shot. <laughs> Some 3DSs and stuff like that in the back. Game Boy Advance stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, that Mrs. Pac Man sign is awesome. That's cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, she will be mine, yes. Yeah, I like this place already. I can't see. I want to see if I can look at those games a little bit better. Maybe they're not on the floor yet. I don't know. Pretty cool. They got some original. He let me come back here and look at the stuff, so I'm very happy about that. Defender. Duck hunt by itself. That's cool. Flying dragon. Did I just buy this game? I don't remember. Ghosts and Goblins. Capcom game, 25 bucks. It's a maybe. Don't want to spend too much more than... What? What? Say it! Now that I got a Nintendo, guys, I can buy some Nintendo games! Pretty freaking cool. Yeah, let's uh, look around a little bit more at these games, and we'll go from there. Found some Mega Man games. Look at that. Mega Man 5. 150 bones! Yeah. We got three, three. Mega Man 2 is a little beat up, but... Ah, that is... <laughs> I've seen some better days, but... This one's gonna go to a maybe pile, too. So. Just trying to look for some Capcom games as Metroid. Metroid is this. That's, I've never seen that before. It's so weird. I've never seen that before. Because there's this game. This is the one I have. Huh. I don't know. Huh. 
punch out. I heard that was a good game. Uh, three. Ninja Gaiden. Is this the original Ninja Gaiden game? It is Ninja Gaiden. That's cool. 25 bucks. Capcom? No, that's not. Super Metro, I got that. Final Fantasy 2, got that. Chrono Trigger, $275, guys. The Jetsons, Captain Commando, Castlevania 4. That's pretty cool. For Mega Man 4! Hell yeah. Well, I have Mega Man 3, so it's like, well, I definitely try to keep it professional. Yeah, definitely so what's the name of the place? Keep it alive. Keep it alive. Antiques and collectibles. We're picking up Mega Man 4, guys. And yeah, boss man over here did it for 45, so I appreciate that. Hell yeah, guys. We're going to be definitely checking this place out again in the future. I'll see you on the next one. That's good. Hell yeah guys, such a great way to end Friday Night Pickups with a new store, it's called Keep It Alive Antiques and Collectibles, I'm definitely going back there, they definitely got the old retro video game vibe going on. Anyways, we ordered Biohazard Revival Selection from Japan guys, Resident Evil 4 and Code Veronica X, I love it. And then over at First National Pond guys, picked up some more dollar PlayStation 2 games, X-Men the official game, and then uh, X-Men Wolverine's Revenge. And then we also picked up Mercenaries, guys. Playground of Destruction. I have the other Mercenaries game, so why not? And then Demon Stone, guys. Picked up that copy. It's a lot cleaner than mine. And then on the left field, guys, Looney Tunes. Acne Arsenal. Great game. It's fun. Um, actually, it's going to be one I want to play with my nephew. And then Resident Evil 2, guys. This is the DualShock version. I bought this off my buddy for 20 bucks. He wasn't playing it anymore, and I did not have this in my collection, so... That's why I went to Trademark Guys and got rid of my other Resident Evil 2 copy. So I use that trade guys to get Animusha Blade Warriors. It's like Smash Bros but with Animusha. Pretty cool. But not as cool as finding a new store that sells old retro video games guys. Keep it alive. Antiques and collectibles. Definitely going to go back there. Picked up Mega Man 4 for $45 guys. Happy to add that to the collection. But guys, we got one more surprise here on Friday Night Pickups. We got one more package to open up. So hit those likes, subscribe if you haven't, and let's open up the second package. Let's go. Let's tear this package. Very good. So that's awesome. Always a bonus. Yep, more packaging. <laughs> but it feels big, so I'm hoping this is the collector's edition. But I also want to play Code Veronica HD. So either way. But they're both on their way. Maybe we'll get the other package before Friday night pickups. I don't know yet. Yep, yep, yes sir. Uh, try not to dig in it too much because I don't want to wreck it. Anymore. Hey guys, let's speed the process up. Bubble wrap, I'm not looking at it. I can't tell what it is yet. I think it's a book. Some bubble wrap, the bubble wrap. Oh, I'm have to just take it there. This is gonna be awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. There it is, guys. I don't know if there's a glare or not, but PS3 Biohazard HD Remastered, guys. That is badass. Pretty cool. It's my first Japanese game I've actually bought, but hell yeah. Hell yeah, guys. So whoever uh, sent me this um, probably resealed it because this was not sealed. So we are going to open this up further. Very, very excited about it. I didn't realize how long, how big this collector's edition box was going to be. I'd be very careful. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to ruin it. And I'm doing this one-handed, guys. Okay. Uh, 
That is pretty. Hell yeah. Yes, it's in Jap Japanese because it's from Japan. But, um, like I found out a couple weeks ago, guys, around the same time that I ordered this game, that you can play um, any region on the PlayStation 3, which I, I have no idea. I didn't know that, but that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to have to figure out how to open this. Anyways, yeah, this is what I was very excited about, guys, was the art guidebook and then this map. This is the actual map from the HD release that originally came out on GameCube for Resident Evil Biohazard. And then here's the game. Hell yeah. Super excited about this, guys. Cannot wait to play it. Let's see your art book. Oh, that's the main hall. Gives you the map right there. Very detailed. That's pretty cool. Library. Well, yeah, we'll have to do a whole separate video on this collector's edition, guys, later. But yeah, as a collector, this is the type of stuff that I'm after right now. Things you don't see out in the wild. A little more expensive, but actually Japanese games are a lot cheaper than North America. So, And this is a lot cooler than I think any Resident Evil game I have besides maybe, I don't know, the, the original lawn box for the PlayStation. But hell yeah, guys. Um, let's dig into this a little bit more, and I'm going to test this bad boy out on the PlayStation 3. Let's go. Three. Yep, 4862. That's that code right there. <laughs> Shows you how much I know this game. Oh, yeah. Blood. Yeah. Oh, Skip the page. Yep, that's the tyrant. That's the laboratory, yeah. Hell yeah, guys. That is badass. Got the whole map right here, and it actually feels like a map, so the material. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, guys. Super excited about this Japanese Biohazard uh, Collector's Edition. It is really cool. Something for my collection, something I'm going to play and enjoy and go through. And hell yeah, guys. So, anyways, I want you to hit those likes, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.